previously on Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. This is Sniper. Beep, 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 beep. I was originally going to call the Animal Keeper to the stand, but he refused to testify. And now back to listening to people. Hello. Sneako B. Back with some more Phoenix Ride Duel Destinies. When we last left off, we finally figured out who the culprit of the case was. Freaking Marlon Rhymes. I, I was right, though. It, it was the boyfriend of the case. I, I knew after they were setting it up, I was like, it's gotta be that guy. There's the, there's the fucking motive right there to set up that freaking whale. By the way, you guys clarified, like, now, because just because they were dating doesn't necessarily mean that the people at her workplace would, would know who he was. Yeah, I... I I think I was I was under the misconception that he w had, would also have been working there too, like alongside with her, because I assumed it was either Marlon Rhymes or Herman Crab. Herman Crab definitely worked there. I I don't know why, but I kind of thought maybe Marlon had had as well, but that didn't really make sense since he said he was new. So, uh, but yeah, you're right. So th there really isn't any reason why they would Sasha would remember who he was. Also, another thing sort of clarified. I was complaining about how like why didn't we look in the charm when we got it? We only got the charm that had the picture in it in the trial like about five minutes beforehand. I still think I don't know. I still feel like we would have gotten it and still looked at it, but but you guys argued well. We, we probably got it, and we just didn't have a chance to look at it. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I could, I'd go with that. But yeah, I feel like this has got to be the last part, right? I feel like like there can't be a whole lot more. There's only a few things we really need to to, to clarify and wrap up. I, I don't know. I'm wondering, is he going to throw some weird curveball at me here at the last second? I'm just hoping this next this next part is not going to be like 20 minutes or something. I just walk out there, and I'm like, one piece of evidence. And my round's like, no! Nah! And then it just fucking explodes. <laughs> Again, I looked back at that, and yes, it did seem like there was blood shooting out of his the holes in his body. Ew! Fucking gross. Oh, uh, also, he didn't. It wasn't so much that he drank. He didn't drink like ale or water or whatever. It was the barrel was the barrel of fish he'd been tossing out. So he, he just like chugged a whole bunch of raw fish, and that made him fucking diesel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so random, but I love it. I don't give a crap. You know, I just noticed that. You see on this, like, on the title screen here, you see? They, they have a they have a copyright symbol for the Phoenix Strife thing, and then another copyright thing for Ace Attorney. Like, like really? You really need to, to, to do it twice? Like, this is copyright, and this is copyrighted? Do less things, that's copyrighted. I'm gonna copyright this, and this, and this, and this. I, I never really understood the difference between the the C that has a circle around it and the one and an R that has a circle around it. But anyway, <laughs> let's uh get on with what I imagine will be the, the last part of it. I kind of hope it's the last part because otherwise we'll end up pulling a Ace Attorney Investigations uh, final case. That, that one, that was one that should have ended like, it should have been at half the size of uh, what it was. At least the finale. July 22nd, left 21 AM, just record to defend on my three. Leave it to you to think of something like calling Orla, Mr. Wright. Yeah, I'm gonna grill the shit out of that Orla. Not, not literally, by the way. Well, she's the only one who knows all the answers after all. I just talked to Pearls and she said Orla seems to be feeling fine. Now I have to find it, try and figure out how Mr. Rhymes would manipulate Orla. I mean, I feel like it's pretty simple that it would just be, he learned some tricks from um, Azura, but no, that doesn't account for the lifesaver trick, right? Because that was under lock and key. That was something Sasha had just been uh, teaching Orla herself. So, recently. So, how would he have known that? Unless he was, like, maybe he was spying on him? Put Mr. Rhymes and Orla together. Maybe we can get some kind of clue. I do think he's going to have, like, learned some from Azura. But maybe we'll get to a point where, like, but he couldn't have learned that one. Can't forget about that strange set of prints of Rhymes either. Yes. I really appreciate you trying to save both Orla and me. And I'd really appreciate it if you stopped laying down those fucking nautical puns. I had no idea Marlon hated Orla like that. I feel like I've been shocked by, tor by a torpedo ray. <laughs> oh, yes, and you guys also clarified. It wasn't actually a swordfish. It was a it was a Marlin, a Marlin fish. How appropriate! <laughs> of course, he would hate the killer whale that murdered his girlfriend right in front of him. Oh, Mr. Bloom, you've been watching... Watching the trial? You know, I, I'm i being curious, too. I, I feel like it's it's going to turn out, that, of course, that Orla didn't really kill the trainer. So then what is going to be the thing that killed her? Is it going to be Marlon again, but, like, un like, he unintentionally did something? Ooh, that'd be tragic. Oh, yes, I came to make it a declaration of war. A declaration of war? What? No matter what the results of today's trial, I will report the truth of my new book. I, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Do whatever the shit you want. 
Even if that truth goes against what I wrote in the Killer Killer Whale. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. It seems like you'd have some standards. I don't know what the truth is. Not even about what happened a year ago. Dr. Crab! You sure have died right in front of my eyes. In the middle of a pirate show. Suddenly fell from the orca's back and began to thrash around in pain. The orca was singing a song, and then started headbutting Azura over and over. Finally, the orca took Azura in her mouth and brought her to the side of the pool. Just before she died, Azura was holding her chest in obvious pain. She was holding her chest? Oh, it's the fucking heart disease! D that's what... We clarified that, didn't we? Yeah, wait, wait, where was it clarified? What? Sasha told us that she had, had a heart condition. Do we still have that medication? Uh, I, I don't see it, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember Sasha telling us she had a heart, she had a heart condition, and also Azura did, had, had that same exact heart condition. And again, what, what's up with that? How, how's that gonna... There's no way that's a coincidence. So in her chest. Wait a demon second! Could it be? I don't think Orla was to blame for the incident a year ago either. Okay, so Mar okay, so Marl didn't actually have anything to do with that. I I, I guess. What? I think Cosmos Summer's death might might have been her heart condition. Heart condition? What heart condition? I never heard anything about it. Miss Summers had a prescription with Hickfield Clinic for her heart condition. The Orca didn't kill her. I think it's possible her heart condition did. What? Sure, I had a heart condition too. Wait, oh. I guess she heard from everybody, just like I did. Wait, who do we hear from again? I thought Sasha was the one who told us. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, Apollo had learned it and told us about it. That's right. Yes. Okay. Oh, Nico, you forgot all about me too. No, Apollo, of course not. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Apollo. She heard from everyone, just like I did. So that means the Orca was innocent a year ago too. It's just a theory, but I think the Orca headbutted Azura to check on her. <laughs> of course, she uh, did subsequently beat the shit out of her, but... And then did a lifesaver trick to rescue her. Wait, wait she did teach her the life... She, she did have the lifesaver trick. I thought that was something only Sasha could do. So there was no need to put, put the Orca down after all. So then that means Marlon could have learned everything from Azura then. So, you really did intend to put Orla down. No. Jack and I... We're against such a thing from the start. But, but, but you say we're going to euthanize the orca. Yeah, I've been wondering about that. Oh, was he going to pretend and then let her set her free? Dr. Crab, about this capsule. It's not poison, but a sleeping drug, right? That's right. Even before we'll attack someone. Or even if it's the center for dangerous animals demands to be put down. I never had any intent on killing her. I would use sleeping pills to make it look like she was dead, and then set her free. Ah, that is it. Good on you, man. That's why I purchased so many sleeping capsules. Oh, that's why? What the tits? I never considered the possibility that the poor woman's death was illness. She pretty disturbed me wrong. I simply want to know the truth. That is why I will tell you who my client is. The day I witnessed the owner's death, I was there at the request of the animal keeper. Marlon Rhymes? Oh. That is correct. That day, my client called me to ask, to ask me to investigate the orca pool. He must have wanted you to witness what Orla was going to do. Why did you decide to tell us this? My desire to protect my client was standing in the way of the truth. I couldn't allow that. I would be watching to see how this all unfolds. Good luck to you, blue and yellow duo. Bang! I shot you with my finger gun. She fingered me good, Athena. She sure did. Well, that was quite a bombshell that she just dropped so casually, too. That woman really is a free fucking spirit. Do you remember what you said yesterday, Mr. Lawyer? Did you expose any secret if it would help save Sasha? I remember. It's my duty as a fucking lawyer. I just wanted you to know that I don't blame you for exposing the aquarium's secret. It may have put me in hot water, but if it helps save the orca... <laughs> if it does end up getting a bunch of other sick animals killed on the process, totally worth it. <laughs> Let me clue you in on another secret. Focus on the orca's song. The orca's song, huh? What could he be hinting at? You know, you could just tell me the answer. No, you must solve it yourself, for I am mysterious Dr. Crab. Woo! And he scuttles away. Oh, Mr. Wright! Looks like it's time! Alright, let's go back in. 
You've got it, boss. We're gonna go in there and punch that fucker in the face. Yeah. And then we're also gonna save Ru Sasha and Ula together. I feel like Marlon's freak out is gonna be nasty. <laughs> if it's it's gonna be an exaggerated form of what he's just shown, like shit squirting out of him, just gonna like squirt out all of his organs, like <laughs> just die right there in the stand. July twenty second at eleven thirty a.m. Get your court court number four. I turn to the judge for this part for some reason. This is a weird angle. I don't usually see this angle like this. Oh, court will now reconvene. So what is Orr Shipley, commonly known as Orla? Ready, ready. Well, the orca is present, but I highly doubt she understands what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at right now? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, this is adorable as yesterday. Oh, she's wearing her dumb little pirate hat. I want a pirate hat. Fish, give me a pirate hat. Oh, Jesus. I still remember you being afraid of her on several occasions. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Now, Mr. Wright, how do you propose to cross-examine the witness? I tend to have the young lady there with Orla, with Orla help me. Everyone. Hey, young lady! Didn't I meet her once before a long time ago? <laughs> Many eons ago. You met me more than once, asshole. Yes, that's Pearl Fay, my old friend. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can never forget an outfit like that. Well, well, young lady, didn't she grow up to be a young, lovely young lady? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> ah! You better say guilty, bitch! Okay, Mr. Falcon, just, just take it easy. You say guilty! Oh my god, this Falcon's got a gun too? Why are all these fucking birds have guns? I have no interest in this chit chat. On with the cross examination. Mr. Price, it's not your fault! Why are you doing it? Bird's gonna kill me! How is this my fault? Corporal well, now hear the test testimony of more Shipley. Before I get my brains fucking blown out. How Orla was manipulated. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna maybe possibly do the thing again with Athena's. We gotta read her heart. It's gonna give us a big elaborate story. Blah, blah, this happened here. Blah, 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 finish that, woo, woo. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, I was, that was about as, well, as well as I expected it would. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. What appears to be the problem? I fully understood that. I don't know about you. Do you seriously intend to cross-examine this orca? Well, she's a key witness for the defense, after all, sir. Every time you come to my courtroom, you open my eyes to a new way of thinking. <laughs> new way of being fucking stupid. <laughs> Your parents, this will be another one of those times. Yeah, you bet I do. Yes, he's giving me the go-ahead. He hasn't, he hasn't completely thrown me out of the courtroom like probably every other judge in this country would. I'd like to put the witness and Mr. Rhymes together to see how he manipulated the orca. Hopefully we'll have some kind of reaction. <laughs> Arr, hi there. I'm much more diesel than I was few, a few minutes ago. Arr, fine by me, but not what happened, I tell ye. So did he get like bit by the orca at some point too? Is that what those holes are supposed to be? What? Hi there. No, I don't know you. Mr. Rabs is right. Nothing happened. I guess I shouldn't have expected it to be easy. Hmm? How, how did he manipulate her? Right, Dono. Hope you realize that if you can't prove how Rhymes manipulated the orca with this cross exam exam, your defendant will be declared guilty immediately. Oh, that's interesting. It's the first time I ever said just said cross exam instead of cross examination. Wow, just hit me. We, we could have been saying it cross exam this whole time, and think of how many seconds I could have saved. I feel like they probably only did that because it couldn't fit in that message box. Yes, I realize that. This is my last chance. Let's figure out how Rhymes committed Orla to do her tricks. It's always your last chance for right God. Please bring in your cross examination, Mr. Wright. No, do say cross exam. It saves us so much time. Shut up, Blackwell. Do what I want. It's my house. Uh, okay, no, I guess we're just, I'm just old school of this. Hold on a second! <laughs> what did you say about my mother? <laughs> Miss Shipley, I'm afraid for you, for me. It's not gonna get us anywhere. <laughs> huh, this is your plan of action. Are we really, are we really doing this, your baldness? 
You are capable of interpreting Orca's speech. This entire exercise is falling. Objection! You leave the interpretation of Orca's heart to me. All right, girl. What do, what do you got to say? Let me hear it. She's just really happy to see us. Oh, Orla, you're so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> right, Dono. Certainly you don't intend to continue this farce. I do! Miss Shipley, please continue with your testimony. I am incredibly engaged. Hold it! Hold on a second! Hmm. Could you interpret that for the court, Miss, Miss Sykes? Oh! Oh! Being a strong reading of happiness. Maybe she thinks she's doing a show? <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> I love the bird's eyes freak out every time he does that. I demand serious witness testimony. This is no time for fun and games. This is a very serious courtroom. For I am the convict that cuts shit with his fingers and got a bird on his shoulder. And I demand seriousness. If you continue this mockery, I will subject you to 40 lashes with a wet fish. Not a wet noodle? That just sounds fishy. Hey, speaking for experience, saving is better than 40 lashes from a whip. <laughs> I, Lord knows I've had more than that in my career. I have the scars to remember too. The vets will please, please caution this witness to conduct herself properly. We're click, fleet, fleet. All right, it's good, yes. Um, instead of impersonating in a one, uh, one orca band, could you show us the lifesaver trick? I guess Orla won't do what you want unless you give her the proper signal. Oh! Does Norla sing beautifully? Oh, okay. Huh. Do Darker singing voice is much more melodic and clear. Squawk! 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 God, does every animal know that song? <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, they want you to quit their day job. I've heard better, you dumb bird! Please get to your testimony, Miss Shipley. Hold it! Hold on! <laughs> I feel like I gotta press all these because they're just too funny. Miss Shibley seems to want to communicate something. Ah! Yes, I believe she's been wanting to do that this whole fucking testimony. Perhaps she's hungry? Miss Faye, can you give Miss Shibley a snack? Certainly. Oh, one moment. Man, I feel like a, I feel like a whale's got to eat a lot of fish on a daily basis, right? Look how big she is! What a heartwarming scene. Reminds me of my granddaughter with her pet. <laughs> wow, your granddaughter must have had a pretty large pet. No, I meant my granddaughter ate her pet. Ah! <laughs> Stop all this pet prattle and get on with the fucking cross-examination. God damn it. No, no, no. I'm having fun. Fuck you, you stupid whale. Fuck this whole fucking courtroom. I know this shit. But she sucks an adorable creature. I can never get tired of looking at her. I don't care for all this wasted time. Silence. Silence. I, on the other hand, never had more than my fill of this tomfoolery. Enough of this, enough! I'm so tired of this dumb case! <laughs> just seeing Blackwood get really pissed off is just really, it's really hilarious for some reason. So, so like Browser being a little black, cuter Blackwood is about to blow his top. Like a whale! Ah! What should I do? Should I get into this cross examination? Yes! Not off here my cross examination! Huh. You've just about exhausted my patience, right, Dono? Mr. Wright, please finish as quickly as you can. Yes, Your Honor. But I'll try to continue to tell the truth. Mr. Rums had to have committed Orla somehow. Hmm. Everything in evidence he could have used. Orla, it's not like I can present evidence that contradicts a particular statement. Because it doesn't matter which statement. Hmm. What can be used to command Orla? Okay. Let's please hear it, House of Money. Okay, let's gotta present anything at any point. I do not regret doing that, though. Okay, so should I? So we've got that one video. The uh, video is taking a summer using the whistle. Objection! Yeah, there we go. Sasha told me an interesting story about Miss Summers. <laughs> sure, used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orca tricks. I used to help Azura take the videos on her TV phone. Most likely, like Mr. Rhymes still has these videos on Miss Summer. Yeah, they seem like pretty simple. Miss Faye, could I ask for your help? Of course, Mr. Nick. What is it? You're using Mr. Rob's TV phone, correct? I'd like you to examine it for me. Please look for videos of Ashura Summers issuing whistle commands to Orla. Um, videos? I'm not 
too sure how to do that, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh god, that's right. You don't know anything about technology. Because I lived out of buttfuck nowhere. My apologies to Marlin. Right, don't know. What are you up to? Don't you need a warrant for that? Fuck you. We'll see you in a moment. If pearls can find those videos for me. Mr. Nick, I found them. I found some videos like you described. You did? Thank you, Miss Faye. Just as I suspected. How did Marlon Rhymes get Orla to do those tricks? I will now show you. With Mr. Rhymes' cell phone. His cell phone? Are you implying he used an app? Miss Faye, see if you can issue Orla a command. Me? C can I do such a thing? You might be able to if you play a video with a whistle signal in it. If there's a video of the lightsaber trick. Please play it. Oh, I see. I thought I thought he learned him himself. Learned learned it himself, but instead he just played the video. Before you do though, though, please put the practice dummy in the pool. The practice dummy. All right. <laughs> Here it goes. There. It's like to the bottom. Now I'll play the video. Ah! Uh, there she goes. Why is diving down? Hang strip for the dummy! <laughs> what, what a smart girl you are, Ola! What a good speaker that phone has! The lightsaber trick was a complete success, success Mr. Nate! You know, I actually kind of wonder if that would really work, though. Like, if we can't perceive the sound, can our, like, let's say I, I were to blow a dog whistle and record it on my phone. Would the phone still pick it up? I mean, I wouldn't be able to hear it on the phone, but could, would, it, would the phone still record it and then I could play it back and the dog could hear it? Or does the phone just go at the same frequency that, that you know, that we can hear? I wonder. God damn it, Nico, do I look like a phone scientist to you? Thank you, Miss Faye. You are a big help. Now I have proof. Huh. Unbelievable. You actually pulled it off. I was a life driver. Life served what we saw yesterday. Was Faye an orca trainer now? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No, Your Honor. I'll explain after we try one more trick. Let's see if we can command Orla to do the singing trick. Was Faye, there's a video of the singing trick. Please play it. Is it going to be the old song, though? Certainly. Let's see. Is this the video? Nah. No, it's the original one. Oh. <laughs> oh my, isn't she wonderful? That was the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. Nah. Oh, it's a good whale. Who's a good whale with a mustache? And a big hat. Oh my god. Oh, what a lovely singing voice. Fuck. Why can't we have cute animals in the fucking courtroom all the time? Um, we kind of do. We're not talking about your dumb bird that claws my fucking scalp. Huh. It wasn't bad. <laughs> By the way, how did Miss Faye give the orca those commands? Oh, and Ryan is selling on his phone that his girlfriend, Azura Summer, sent him. Their videos of Miss Summer issuing commands to Orla with a whistle. If they have Orla listen to the sounds of the signals, anyone at all could perform command Orla. Oh my! Anyone at all? I need that phone out! Yes, I believe so, Your Honor. All they would have to do is play those videos. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please submit those evi the videos as evidence! <laughs> Getting the seeking suspicion, the judge just wants to try it out for himself. <laughs> They're already in evidence, you ass! Miss Faye, could you send those videos to the TV phone here? Alright, certainly. Got him. Alright. I'll try playing one. God damn! We have some fast internet here in Japan, California. Oh. Oh, that's the original song. That's the old one Mr. Plume was doing. So it was a training session a year ago, huh? Damn, sure, summer was, was kind of hot. But wait a minute, 
There's something about that song that bothers me, yeah. Could it be then that Sasha changed it? Because the same com the same whistle command, right, was the one that made her sing the uh, the new song, the recent song. Hmm. The orca can, can be commanded using videos on a cell phone. Now that means Marlon Rhymes could have manipulated the creatures. Arr! I almost forgot I was here. <laughs> Seriously, I, I feel like we go with very long periods where we don't see me. Should I be like, I should have been freaking out earlier. And also, arr! Mr. Rhymes, you can't talk your way out of this one. You can't arr your way out of this Silence. one. Silence. Out of all the letters of the alphabet, R is my favorite. Is that a good way to start this epic monologue? Hm. I have to commend you. That was very good proof. I could see Marlon Rhymes could have manipulated the orca. But isn't it true that the defendant could have done it as well? All she would have to do is use the whistle. The whistle she knows how to use so well. And she wouldn't have ha had to use those videos. Surely you admit it's a possibility. She could have easily in had Norma de Bloom win as the singing in the lifesaver trick. Yeah, but she wasn't the one who invited Norma de Bloom here. So he's, he's trying to argue it was equally possible for Sasha as it was for Rhymes, is he? But is that true? Let me think about that for a minute. Yeah. That's right, those weren't just simple cries, it was a singing. As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing. It kept headbutting while it sang the swashbuckler spectacular song. Culver made sure Mr. Bloom heard the song and saw the lifesaver trick. Could Sasha have shown these two tricks? Could, could Sasha have shown these two tricks to the witness? No, she couldn't have, because she can't do two tricks at once. No, I don't think Miss Buckler could have created the same the same conditions as the culprit. You challenged me to a battle. Hope your sword is sharpened. Let me see those sword skills of yours. Don't you worry, my sword is drawn and ready. My sword's evidence that the two tricks couldn't have been shot at the same time. Take that. Boom! Mr. Bloom said her testimony that she in her testimony that she witnessed these two tricks at the same time. However, that fact is inconsistent with how Orla performs tricks. How Orla performs tricks. What do you go what are you what are you talking about? Orla can't perform two tricks at once. She performs only one trick per whistle signal. That's how she's been trained. Mm. In other words, it would be just like with a dog. If you tell him to both sit and shake, he won't do them at the same time. They'll look at you and be like, the fuck? Am I understanding it correctly? Yes, that's the idea, your honor. One of the just a dog. <laughs> wolf, wolf. <laughs> I'm his dog. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, oh don't tell me that. <laughs> What a farce! So he's saying the witness somehow managed to produce an impossible scenario. Arr! The creature's own trainer couldn't do it, how could I? <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery, isn't it? <laughs> Boss! Do I have to agree so cheerfully? I don't know! Fuck! I'm, I don't really know either! The defense is claiming that Marlon Rhymes manipulated the orca. But if you cannot explain fully how this was done, your argument doesn't hold water. If you can't straighten out your own theory, would you like me to straighten you out? Um, no thank you. Hmm, so Orla can't do two tricks at a time, but Mr. Plume saw her do it. So logical inconsistency means there's a flaw somewhere. Maybe Mr. Plume just missaw something. Was Mr. Plume lying? Or is it not true that Orla can't do two tricks at a time? But Mr. Plume had no reason to lie about such a thing. Is it really impossible for Orla to to perform two tricks at once? Then maybe the lifesaver trick or the singing trick was faked? Maybe one of the tricks got replaced with it? So maybe the lifesaver trick replaced the other singing one? So now when he when she dives in the water to go save him, while she's doing it, she's singing the song. We just can't hear her. Oh, I bet that is it. We can't hear her, but then we're gonna hear it over the the, the radio thing, right? Which I, I, I like been wondering, like, we still have not brought this thing into, brought this thing up yet. Being used to broadcast inside the aquarium. Was faked? Faked. Yes, maybe Orla only performed one of the tricks. But it was made to look like she performed two. Silence. Maybe. How do you expect to conduct a sword battle with conjecture? 
Sounds like I better present some evidence here, and fast. Well, I'm concerned about your profuse sweating. <laughs> but whatever, you do it all the time. Mr. Wright, let me ask you. Which one of the two, two is faked? The lifesaver or the singing trick? Uh, the lifesaver trick? The song. They're both faked. I think it might have been the song. That's the one. The men's wish to argue that the singing trick was faked. And on what grounds do you base your assertion that the singing trick was faked? Based on the uh, difference in song, which, uh, yes, yeah, song shown in the video right there. Yeah, baby! This is a recording of my recent Swashbuckler Spectacular. This recording or less sings the same song she sang for Miss Faye earlier. But Mr. Bloom said this song is different from the other one, the one sang a year, sung a year ago. The song is different? Please listen to the song in the video from a year ago, sent to the cell phone. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I saw blows. Ah, oh, yes, sounds quite different from the song we're listening for Miss Faye earlier. And yet, this is the same video Miss Faye used as she commands to Orla to sing. By having Mr. Bloom listen to the song recorded in the cell phone video. The true culprit may, Mr. Bloom, think Orla was singing the song from a year ago. Mm. Only Marlon Rhymes, the owner of the cell phone videos, could have done this. Silence. But Mr. Bloom says she heard the orca singing right in front of her. How do you claim he made her think that? How was the song recording played? Oh, 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 no, I see. Okay. I was, I was still kind of confused. I'm like, uh, even with my third in not quite right. No, she, this is it. He took, he played the song over, over the, the speaker from his phone. Hmm. I did explain that too, of course. Here we go. Final whip out the walkie-talkie. What? Answer lies somewhere in the Orca Pool Visitor's Corridor. Marlon Ross played a song by using this. Yes. Ah. Mr. Bloom heard the song while she was in the Orca Pool Visitor's cor Corridor. There was a speaker in that corridor so the visitors could hear the Orca sounds. And you claim the song was played from that speaker. How? Here's how Ron split the song over the speaker in the visitor's corridor. Yes. Finally present you. I've had you in my inventory for a long time. Mr. Rhymes could broadcast the song in the video to the speaker by using a walkie-talkie. He could get Orla to do a trick by letting her hear Summers, Miss Summers' whistle signal too. He played the singing through the speaker and he made Orla do the lifesaver trick. And all this was doing the doing of the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. This is what you did, isn't it, Mr. Rhymes? Arr, ah, ew, gross, stop that. You did it, now we can save both Sasha and Orla. Just leave it to Captain Wright's swash, swashbuckling lawyers to, to win any case. I remember agreeing, agreeing to that name. So it actually was possible for Miss Rhymes to manipulate the Orca. I'm stunned. I see we'll need to hear more from this witness. Hmm. Mr. Rhymes, the time has come for you to tell the court the truth. Hold it, somebody said. Hold it, everybody, hold it! Huh. <laughs> so I used a walkie-talkie, you say? Arr. Sorry, but you're dead wrong, me bucko. It'd be impossible, says I. What do you mean, impossible? I shall sing ye a little shanty dissing your scurvy theory. Hark ye well now. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Are you gonna do it? Hold on, I, I, I'm warming up. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dissing, uh, Phoenix Wright. Lay a diss track down. Yo, are, uh, why are you talking to me, bro? For real? Mr. Lawrence Street Sound got no appeal. Broke me forward of tuning by the scene. Broke me of all right. Could have a dream dream. Little lead, 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 Yo, you scared Greg, Greg! Why in the dicks is he just saying? Here we go, kill with that flip-flop music. 
fucking flip flopping! Oh no! Broke it! All the flimsy excuses! Build sucking! That was uncalled for! I do not suck on builds! You probably broke it on purpose after the fact! Or that be a true, untrue little lassie! Although I can't prove when it really was! Lucky be it for me, you lawyers! Be the ones who have the proven to do! Ugh! After everything we uncovered, I still he still won't admit it. So I have to prove he still could have done it. I'll be honest, I couldn't really understand half of what you were doing. Probably because I was trying to wrap it. Okay, dissing the Phoenix right. Okay, so walkie-talkie was broke, for real. I mean, can't we test it? It's right here, isn't it? We're saying it's a different, this is just a walkie-talkie, it could have been something else. It's, yeah, it's issued to all aquarium staff. Okay, so this, this could have been a, just a different one. Broke before Diplume was on the scene. Broke before Wright could ever dream. Legit goofed during cleaning time, but build sucking lawyers spitting lies. That orca yo don't listen to me, okay? Kill the captain. You so cray cray. Hmm. I think I'm gonna press him here because we haven't brought up the ladder and he's bringing up cl the cleaning time, so. Hold it! Hold it! You made a big blunder. What happened? After I helped Sasha with the cleaning, I dropped by accident. It dropped it by accident and broke it. You wish to see it. I still have it with me. Oh. Hmm. Does indeed appear to be broken. Nah. With me walkie-talkie broken, there'd be no way I could have done what you said. I couldn't have given the order I any commands. Oh, your walkie-talkie broke? Isn't that just so convenient? Mr. Rhymes, I think you broke it on purpose. Miss Lawyer, none of your false accusations, if you please. I broke it on purpose. Where be your proof? Ah, uh, I, I don't have any proof. So walk talk was broken and there was a monkey wrench into my whole theory. When I let Pearls borrow his cell phone so casually yesterday, he must have already been confident I wouldn't be able to prove anything. Ah, har! You'll never get me to agree to that pox orca be innocent. If something be done, not done without her, she'll get Sasha one day too. The orca killed the captain. It worked me. Huh. So you intend to continue to claim that the defendant is innocent, do you? But I won't stand for that. Now then. Right, don't know. What's your next move? Your Honor, I would like to examine the walkie-talkie if you don't mind. Certainly! Here you are! So there's any way to tell when the walkie-talkie was broken? If I gave all of that command, then it couldn't have been broken at, th at, th at the time. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm gonna inspect every suspicious looking nook and butthole. Okay, uh... We got the batteries there. Ba looks like a battery, uh, part. Or not. Oh, hey, there's teeth marks on this thing. Huh? Well, look at these. They look like tooth marks. Hey, you're right. Like this big. What if it was Orla? Wait a minute. I want to talk to you with two tooth marks. Didn't we hear a story like that just yesterday? <laughs> Was the walkie-talkie is your use right up until her death? Oh, it's in the picture there. Let the show the orca brought her up to the surface in her mouth. She left two marks on Jura's walkie-talkie. The captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him, so he'd never forget. <laughs> oh. So that's the fake one. It's a fake one. Rob said his walkie-talkie was his. But could it be? Aha! Not all about it. Don't you agree? Are time to give up, Mr. Lawyer. Forget the orca to save Hasha, says I. I can't do that. Now that I'm finally a lawyer again. How could I hold my head up if I had made my client so miserable? Arr, a stubborn one ye be. Hold it! Are you sure it was your walkie-talkie? Could have stolen a broken walkie-talkie from somebody else. R, if you be accusing me of thievery, let me see your proof. Alright. This evidence tells you who stole the walkie-talkie from. Here we go. Oh. I see. It was Shipley's walkie-talkie. I thought somehow he had he had gotten her walkie-talkie and kept it for all those years. But we're saying it's Shipley's walkie-talkie. Take that! That he had taken. According to the defendant's statement, Mr. Shipley talked to... Turn on his walkie-talkie before his death. However, no walkie-talkie was found near the victim's body. 
arm, he thinks the police just didn't look hard enough. Besides, the captain's walkie-talkie wasn't broken, be that, be that not right. So his walkie-talkie has nothing to do with mine. I'm not so sure that's true. The victim fell to his death. It's quite possible his walkie-talkie broke in the fall. You stole the walkie-talkie after the victim's death, didn't you, Mr. Ryan? Silence! Silence! I will not allow such leading questions, Mr. Wright, don't know. You claim the walkie-talkie belonged to the victim. Show me your evidence. Certainly. I plan on doing that just that. Please look at these tooth marks here on the walkie-talkie. Tooth marks? Ah, oh, yes, I see them! The victim's walkie-talkie. Was a keepsake that used to belong to Ar Azura Summers, who died a year ago. These tooth marks were left by Orla when she carried Miss Summers to her in her mouth. Hmm, this is Mr. Shipley's walkie-talkie. But Mr. Rhymes' walkie-talkie is still unaccounted for. Which means he could have used it to command Orc, orc after all. And that's not all, Your Honor. The only one who could have taken the walk victim's walkie-talkie is the culprit himself. Arr. Mmm. The fact I met Marlon Rhymes at the victim's walkie-talkie has proved that he murdered Jack Shibley. Oh. Sink me. Arr! Freak out. Not so fast, Mr. Lawyer. What? Still want a minute? Swalky talky be mine, says I. But how do you explain the tooth marks on it? I've had made the many run in with that orca myself, are. She bit me more than once in me walkie talkie too. Evidence of our fights are carved here into my me body. My goodness, I can clearly see the tooth mark scars in your skin. I've been wondering fi we finally bring it up, thank God! What? Are those really scars for being bitten by Orla? No, don't rap again. Ahoy, yo, ho, ho! You want it? Why is this guy some meat? These scars from Orla? That's right. If them girl can put up a nasty fight. Yeah, Orla bit me, let me scar. Had a rep to protect, so I win it hard. It's Mr. Lawyer, I win. Just be frank. And Orla, hey, you get to play. Can't let him run this dumb show. I'm so tired of his shit rapping. You suck. I had to find a way to prove the walkie talkie belonged to the victim. And ye can forget about fingerprints. I always keep me walkie talkie clean and polished. This man had everything worked out before he even took the stand. But I won't give up. There has to be a way. Mr. Wright, I found something interesting. Two parts of the walkie talkie. You don't say anything funny about them. Funny? Funny how? Something different about them compared to the tooth marks we've seen. Oh, they're they're not even. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The other ones only I remember are the ones on the practice dummy. Yeah, it's like a tooth missing. Just a little a tiny difference. Might not mean anything. Right now, we need to consider every possibility we can, no matter how small. If I can figure out what's different about the, the bite marks. Maybe I can prove somehow Mimes Walkie Talkie actually belonged to the victim. Think, Phoenix. You can turn everything around right here and now. It's a moment of goddamn demon truth. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, time to review the facts we have so far. <laughs> so I'm playing the dog or a song. When the attempt of killing Orla arrives during the stage show stage pool, Ross failed to kill Orca. Orla, and instead he tried to pin Shipley's murder on Orla. In order to manipulate Orla, Rhymes must have used his cell phone and a walkie-talkie. The walkie-talkie Rhymes has is broken. I guess it's the victim's walkie-talkie, the one he kept as a memento of Azura Summers. I found way to prove that it is indeed the wa victim's walkie-talkie. Which we have evidence left in the walkie-talkie could prove it belongs to the victim. Fingerprints, no. Orca's tooth marks. We have two pieces of evidence with two mark tooth marks. The walk talkie and the dummy was striking by these two pieces of evidence. The colors are similar. The tooth marks are different. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I wonder what it could be. The tooth marks are different. Two different bite mark patterns. Oh my god. Well, clearly, I suit you. Two different bite mark patterns. Two variations, huh? 
Wasn't there a trick on or of Orla and I had two very different variants as well? The lightsaber trick. No, show song. Blah, blah, blah. Two different songs. Why? Here we go. The orca's song and teeth marks were different from what they are now. What could be the cause of these two inconsistencies? What's behind the fact the orca's tooth mark sent or song were a different year ago? New teeth grew in. Oh, it was a different orca. She learned a new song. I guess I don't. I, I don't know. Was the other? Was the orca like young enough to have not have all of her teeth? teeth grown in no it's, it's it was a different orca that is it this only way that it would know a different song though it was a different orca <laughs> there are two different fucking orcas i'm starting to think there are two different orcas the one even year ago in orla now if the orca a year ago was an orla it means the bite marks of the walking dog is orlas like ryan said it was i can finally prove the walking dog belongs to the victim oh my brain that was weird. Wow, look, you're looking kind of dog on ropey down there. Phoenix Wright, you appear to be lost in thought. Is everything all right? I had a fucking revelation, Your Honor. I just realized something. Astonishing, Your Honor. Oh, goody. Your face is what's astonishing, right, Dono? Your rudeness is what's astonishing, bitch. Fucking cut you. What was astonishing thing you realized? Until just now, I, th I thought the orca had shipped the aquarium a year ago. And Orla. Or the same orca. However, two inconsistencies led me to a new fact. And the fact is, there might be two orca shiblets. What? Two different orcas? But that's impossible. What would happen to the other one then? Order! Order the car! Explain yourself. What is the basis for this preposterous claim? The orca showed a song a year ago, and then one are now are different. At least because the orca a year ago was a different orca. Two different orcas, two different songs. Explains the, co the show co song contradiction. What be this build water talk? I don't understand. I'm talking about the truth, truth that will finally catch you out in your lies. You're claiming the tooth marks on the walkie talkie were Orlas, but that's not true. The two different bite mark patterns on the walkie-talkie and the dummy proves this. What? Two different patterns, he say? Silence. Silence. While I will concede there is a possibility that two different orcas exist, bite mark patterns alone are not proven enough. I am much more conclusive evidence. All right, I'll show you conclusive evidence then. So he wants to see the evidence other than the bite mark patterns, does he? The orca a year ago and Orla have different songs and different teeth. Don't I have two videos on, the, on hand that can be used to compare those differences? I will now submit two videos in which the songs, different songs and teeth can be compared. Okay, so the phone. And here is the other. Take that. The swashbuckler. Please compare these two videos, one from a year ago and one recent. It's discussed the orcas are singing two different songs. Please also pay special attention to the appearance of the orca's teeth. How exactly you claim their teeth are different? Let's look for shots in two videos where the orca's teeth are shown. Ah, uh, okay. This is the Orla in the recent video of the Swashbuckler Spectacular Pirate Show. You can see she has all of her teeth. What a healthy smile she has. Ah, I'm a bit envious. Next, let's take a look at the, the fo TV phone video from a year ago. Oh, look at that. As I thought, their teeth are different. Oh! I believe this smile looks a little different from the one we saw a, a moment ago. As you can see, the orca from a year ago has one tooth that's broken off. Nah, no, the teeth are different. Then, yes, it must have gone to the dentist. The teeth are different. They, of course, leave different bike mark patterns. On the practice dummy, you can see Orla's uniform pattern with all teeth intact. And on the walkie-talkie, you can see the one tooth is mis missing from the pattern. Oh, I see it. It's like the smile of the orca in the last year's video. Mm. The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were not made by the orca we know as Orla. They were made a year ago by a different orca. <laughs> Two different orcas? I can't believe it. The statement that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were from Orla was a lie. The truth is, this walkie-talkie was stolen from the victim, Jack Shibley. And the only person who could have stolen it is the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. All right, r r I, th I think it seems like every time I I'm finished, we do a dramatic camera angle to my front, which means this time you're fucking done.
dead. Give me that freak out fuck face. I think I'm about to get let loose all my blood. No, he got it all wrong. It be all the fault of that orca. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Huh? Arr! Ah! You got it all wrong! What the fuck is happening? Is this, what's the thunderstorm doing in here? Blimey! Ah! No! Be the orca's fault! This can't be! Arr! Oh, I thought I was gonna flex until all the his blood and organs came out. Okay, that was less less disturbing. Once again, I'm too weak to help anybody. Dead. Well, it would appear. We should hear more from the defendant about Aura Shipley. Sasha Buckler. Y yes, Captain Judge. What Mr. Wright claims true. Are there two different orcas? The I, uh, I, uh. The secret ship ship aquarium was hiding it was about Orla, wasn't it? Doctor Crab told me that to focus on the orca song. He hinted it would be a clue. He could have just fucking told me, but that, that guy's an asshole. Whatever. Phoenix is right. The one we call Orla is the second Orla ship leak. There actually used to be two orcas, the ship ship aquarium. I used to call the first one Aura Shipley. Just Aura for short. Oh, I I was wondering about that. I was like, why did they keep like like but she goes by Orla? Like that didn't make any sense to me. It's like the white colors Orla Shipley to differentiate the two. Aura and Orla are sisters. The captain rescued them both when they got beached on the shore. But Orla was Orla was in bad shape, and the ship's doctor had to look after her for a long time. Both orcas loved the captain. So we decided to keep them on that ship ship aquarium. Why didn't you say anything about there being two orcas? Well, because after the accident a year ago, Or Or was put down. Oh, real? Oh, they did euthanize her. What? Or is dead? Yeah, the Center for Dangerous Animal Control demanded it. Apparently, the captain, and the ship's doctor, begged them. We put the first one down, so please leave the second one alone, they said. Anyway, after the accident a year ago, the captain told us he was going to put Orla in the pirate show's Aura Shipley. He asked us to keep quiet about Aura's death until the time was right. I see. Wow! Hey! I didn't see it coming! <laughs> wow! I started some fucking twist in this! I love it! Mmm, what a surprisingly complex tale! What a surprisingly good case this is! <laughs> Did all Shipshape Aquarium employees know about this? No, just a select few of us. Mr. Rhymes, did you know about this? No, know about it? Of course not! How would I? I think, yeah, I think he's going back to how he was sounding before. Tell me, Mr. Rhymes, did you plan on killing Orla from the start? Yeah. I plan to do it during the, during the cleaning. So I drain the pool. I figured if I didn't do something about that beast, Sasha life, Sasha's life was in danger. Sasha trusted that orca as much as Azura did. I wanted to protect her. I couldn't help Azura. So I felt like protecting Sasha was the least I could do. My duty. I thought my strength so I'd be ready to kill the orca. I haven't fought with sharks. Uh, I see. That's what those actual bite marks are. But the captain realized my plan. Try to save the orca. And that is why you killed Jack Shipley. Uh, now, now the report from the crime lab finally makes sense. Report from the crime lab? In court yesterday, you will recall I showed a photo of the victim lying on his back. According to the lab, the bruise, is, the bruise on the victim's right wrist was Rhyme's handprint. Oh. His handprint? What? Why didn't you tell us that? That seems incredibly incriminating. Because fuck you, I want to win this case. 
I didn't know how to fit with the case until I heard Ryan's story just now. But now we can imagine the reason for it being, th being there. Rhymes must have made the handprint when he fought with the victim over the orca. A handprint made during a struggle. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I have an I think I have an idea. Could it be that he he knocked him off and then he reached down to grab his hand and he so he was holding on to it. That's what this ladder print is from. So he's so he was looking down. His right hand was on was holding onto the ladder while gripping him with his other hand or something. And it left that bruise, but he couldn't hold on long enough, and he fell. Like he was trying to save him. I don't care what happens to me anymore. I deserve the death penalty. I'm the one that killed the captain. Please give Sasha her not guilty verdict. It's interesting. I, mean, it, I like how the, even the, the criminal here the, it is still sympathetic, you know? <laughs> you accept your defeat well, I see. Let me be your guide to hell. Get on with the verdict, your baldness. Mm. It seems this unprecedented trial that began with an orca as the defendant has finally come to a close. Sasha, see, Tola's gonna, going to be so happy. Hold on a second, yeah. Sasha's not guilty verdict is coming. Why well, I still have this strange nagging feeling. It's because there's a bit of evidence I haven't used yet. Rhymes handprint on the victim's right wrist. Was it really the result of a deadly struggle over the Vorka? Can't shake the feeling. That handprint has some other hidden meaning. Is this trial going to end without revealing the whole truth? Very well! The core fights the defender, Shasha Buckler! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Hold it! Hold it! What? Not yet, Your Honor. Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. That's all right, you idiot! What does that mean to this? You what, you ass? I want to let my confetti fly. Those guys worked really hard to get that confetti to stay up there this long. I would like to further explore this new evidence the prosecution has submitted. Who wants to complain? Could you have? You're about to get your not guilty verdict. I see no further need to prolong this trial, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, we still don't know the entire truth of this case. This unnatural handprint Mr. Rhymes left on the victim's right wrist. I don't think it was the result of a fight between the two men. Not a result of a fight? And then what do you suggest it was? Boss, what are you doing? Do you remember that evidence we found at the show stage? Evidence? What evidence? The mysterious mark might be the key to understanding the whole case. Yeah, this is it. Your Honor, defense would like to submit evidence that will expose the truth of this case. I'm a serious piece of evidence that pairs Mr. Rhymes' unnatural handprint. Boom! Oh, finally, use this. Marlon Rhymes left behind a very unusual set of fingerprints on the show stage. What way were they unusual? They were right-handed prints on the left side of the ladder. If one were to grasp the ladder in the same as the prints, it would look like this. Hmm, looks like the ladder is being grasped from above. Exactly, Your Honor. And the handprint on the victim's right wrist shows that it was held with a powerful grip. <laughs> yeah. Marlon Rhymes grasped the show stage ladder in un an unnatural pose. He was, he was gripping the victim's wrist in this position. Gripping the victim's wrist? Then he must have been. It means Mr. Ryan was actually. Mr. Ryan is actually. That's right. The couple, the unnatural hamper with the mysterious fingerprints. We see that Marlon was Rob's just trying to save the victim's life. Yes, I was right. But, but what? But that can't be! It's impossible! Why don't we ask Mr. Rhymes himself? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Mr. Rhymes, we want to hear the truth directly from you. Heh. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Mr. Lawyer. Got skills. 
Why? Why'd you have to figure it out? It doesn't matter what happens to me anymore. I'm ready to die. So what's the defense claiming? Is the defense, what the defense claiming is true? The captain, found out I drained the show stage pool. Rushed to the side of the pool, frantic put some water in for the orca. And then, he slipped. Hmm. Captain, give me a left hand! No, Marlin, you'll fall too. Ah. Oh. Forgive me, Marlin. I didn't realize what deep pain you were in. But please, please don't blame Orla. It's nobody's fault. Not Orla's, and not yours. Hey! Oh man, that's that is that is very tragic. So, Jack Shipley's death was accidental. Why didn't you tell us that you didn't kill your victim? Because I have no right to live anymore. I'm ready to get the death penalty. The captain died because of me. And then, on top of it all, I used his body to frame Orla. I was gonna kill Orla. She wasn't even to blame. She didn't do anything wrong. The only thing I can do now is pay for it with it with my life. I can't do anything. I couldn't save the captain. I couldn't avenge Azur's death. Mr. Rhymes, you have the wrong idea about Miss Summer's death. Not even the first Aurora Shipley was responsible for her dying. Aura, of her own accord, was trying to save Miss Summer's life. What? What are you talking about? Sure, Summer suffered from a heart condition. But she didn't tell anyone. She performed in the pirate show anyway. She had a heart attack, and before, and before anyone could save her, I'm sure she didn't think Aura, Aura attacked her. There's nothing to avenge. No way. A, a heart condition? She never said a word about it. Maybe she didn't want well, you to worry about her. So I wanted to get revenge all this time for nothing? So neither case was murder. Not a year ago, and not this time either. Your responsibility in this matter is great, but I believe you can be rehabilitated. I'm not gonna murder your punk ass, <laughs> I guess. Nah, no, fuck it, you're dead anyway. Marlin, you better come back to Ship Shape Aquarium when you're done, you hear? Orla and I and everyone will be waiting for you. Blah! You still have a lot to offer, Mr. Rhymes. Live your life and never give up. For the sake of those who, who are gone as well. Ah, I, I promise to make up for what I've done. If it takes my, me my whole life. Mr. Wright, Sasha. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that was. Wow! That was a really fucking good case! That had a really great ending, too. Well, I have seen countless trials, but never one ended like this! Oh, man! That was... Mm, damn! That's a big boat plus up for Dual Destiny. Why did they make that a DLC case? That was fucking great! I don't know how much to write, but you always seem to manage to turn things around. I think all this excitement has taken a few years off of my life. <laughs> uh, good. I'm getting tired of looking at your old wrinkly-ass face. What did you say to me? Oh, shit, did I say that out loud? Is that praise or a diss? I'm gonna throw a diss track on you, bitch. Now then, finally, I'm gonna finally say it. Can I say my fucking verdict? This court, I submit it, Sasha Buckler. Here we go. Not guilty. Let the fatty fly. 
Woo! <laughs> you know, I feel like I should sell a t-shirt that has that on there. Let the confetti fly. <laughs> I'd buy it. it. Says prosecutor Blackwell. So we all know how fashionable I am. Shut up, everybody! Get out of my fucking courthouse! The confetti's falling up. Uh, we're done. We're get fucking done. July twenty second, five eleven p.m. Ship shape aquarium or pool. Congratulations on your win. Thank you for all your help today, pearls. Uh, all I did was have fun with Orla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I missed you, girl. Oh, I'm so happy for you and Orla, Sasha. Everything turned out great. Phoenix, Athena, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Orla and I are both really grateful. I will now act out to me gratitude with a little little performance, R. Miss Orca lover, don't you think you'd better take care of your health first? So what's the coincidence between, how is it then that she has an R condition the same one as the other one, as uh, Azura? Is it just a coincidence? They're not actually related though, right? Uh, all right, fine, I, I promise. No more shows until I'm better. I don't even want anyone to worry about me after all. Good, glad settled. Hey, buddy, Mr. Lawyer. You just had to blab every single one of the aquarium secrets, didn't you? Sorry, Dr. Crab. Nah, it's all right. I'm glad. I was gonna, it was gonna hard to tell. Can you see how fucking happy I am? Now, thanks to you, they now know we're using the illegal torpedo system. But I think we'll be able to wiggle out of the serious repercussions somehow. That writer lady is advocating for us, saying the law itself is to blame. She said she's going to look into getting the law changed. Wow, go Mr. Plume. He sure is a powerhouse. There's one thing you didn't figure out, by the way. Keep this to yourself, will you? We don't want it getting getting out publicly. Remember that appointment I had written down my calendar? Oh, you mean meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m.? That note meant the Orca, Orca Pool at the Supermarine Aquarium, not Ship Shapes. What? Why were you supposed to meet there? Jack and I, we visited the Supermarine Aquarium once a month, once a month. Any idea why? Um, to get dolphin therapy treatment? No, silly. Remember I told you, Jack and I were against putting the orca down from the start. What? You mean? We just pretended to put the first or, or Shipley down. Oh! Hey! Happy endings all around! Super happy fun time! The, sup the Super Marine Aquarium is harboring her for us. What? Oh, so that, that talk about large amounts of money you were paying them. Ah. Uh. What's about the odor in the vet disappeared from this aquarium? And I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. We we're paying for Orca or Orca's care. You wouldn't believe how much fish Orcas eat. Eat. <laughs> I was just saying. I was like, this thing's probably doing a fucking ton. Now that it's been proven she was innocent all along, I think we can bring her back soon. Until then, keep it under your hat, okay? Huh? What was he telling you about? Oh. Oh, nothing much. Oh, okay, so he, I see. He was whispering that to me. By the way, Orla wants to give you a, her little celebratory prize. <laughs> oh God, she's gonna splash me, isn't she? Oh, she specifically requested that you give it. You give it to her, Phoenix. Oh, all right, fine. Let's see. What can I give her? This whistle? No. This DVD? No. Obviously, this skull rock I have just hot lying in my pocket. No, obviously these sleeping. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just kill Orla with this fucking sleeping stuff. All right, here, eat fish. Orla, it's coming a day late. But congratulations on your verdict. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I just got French cast. Fuck. Oh my! Aren't you lucky? Ah, uh, that's Orla's best trick. The thank you kiss trick. Ah, fuck me! I want to. I want myself a fucking orca. Sorry, Bernie. You're gonna be replaced. What the fuck? 
So you're just gonna throw me to the side just like that? Buy something cuter? That's how it works? Yes, that is how it works. That's the harsh reality we live in, Bernie. God damn it all. Oh, Orla, I want to be next. And so the curtain fell on my first trial in years. I'm looking forward to the comeback of Sasha and Orla, Orla Swashbuckler Spectacular. After all, I made a comeback of my own as a lawyer. A few months later. Okay, back to Ship Shape Aquarium. Date, I don't know, time, I don't know, Ship Shape Aquarium entrance. It's been a while since I visited Ship Shape Aquarium. Now Sasha's recovered from her illness. She's performing today. There's still some time before the show starts. I think I'll wander around a bit. Hi, Phoenix. Hope you enjoyed the show today. The orcas are excited and ready to go. Oh, I'm sure I'll enjoy... Wait a minute. Did you say orcas? As in plural? Uh. Uh. Yep, let me show you. Oh, my God. Eh? Uh. <laughs> what two Orlans? Don't tell me. Uh, I thought the other one would have a different outfit on. You'd have like a beard like the judge. <laughs> yep, you caught it right. Or ship, or shipley the first has returned to the ship shape aquarium. We be the three pirate sisters. are We be off to stop the evil Scallywag League, led by Red Stash and the giant octopus. Well, I don't want to get in the way of the rehearsal. Guess I better go. <laughs> well, if it isn't Blue Boy, did you come for my book signing? Oh, Mr. Blue, fuck no. There's a book signing? Yes, my new book is out. It's called Ship Ship Aquarium. Don't bore the blood. The book signing will be held here in this room. After all, the vet owes me a favor. Yeah, she got got them to approve the use of the torpedo. I'm grateful. Why does she keep coming to my lab to bother me every single day? My next work will be entitled Sniper, the penguin leaves the nest. Nah. Is the penguin gonna get any bigger? Big, big. <laughs> ah, fuck. Gah, stop the scacophony. Am I surrounded by carping females? Dude, Dr. Crab gets all the ladies. I guess I'll leave him do it to it. Oops, it's almost time for the show. Now come back, save me. Oh, we got Trucy and Pearls. Where have you been, Daddy? Polly and Thena already went in. While we were waiting, I bought some souvenirs to take back to the village. Sorry to keep you waiting. I bet they'll love your souvenirs back home, Pearls. By the way, I hear a certain someone is going to be in today's show. Certain someone? Wonder who it could be. Oh, it's almost time. The show's just about to start. All right, let's go to the show stage. Then, Ben. I saved you all seats, Mr. Wright. Way to go, you did something right, Polly. Oh, I can't believe I get to see the, the show again. I'm so happy, I wanna dive in the pool. You better not. I think they call security. I don't care if we did help them out. You're welcome in the pool anytime, Athena. The Red Stash is the best swimmer of all. Huh? Here you got playing Red Stash's role. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, Sasha, or and order, ready to go. It's gotta be me. Hey, I know that voice. Yep. You may know it. Mon is back and he's playing the role of Red Stash. Damn, I didn't, they let him out pretty quick. <laughs> He'd be the, the new Swashbuckler Spectacular. Hope you enjoy me, buckos. All right, uh, this is going to be animated, I'm sure. Or not. <laughs> no, I broke ya. And so, our pirates set sail for bluer seas under a sunnier sky. As for me, I set foot into the world of law once more as a full-time lawyer. And, yay! Phoenix Wright's nostalgic sweater has been unlocked. To wear your new outfit, choose costumes from the extra and DLC screen. Oh, yeah. Is it wait? Is nostalgic sweater? Is that is that what I think it is? 
Is that what I think it is? Oh my god. Because that'd, be, that'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I got default. Oh, hey! Nostalgia. Oh, it is! Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, back in the good old days. <laughs> when I wore this really ridiculous shirt and was sneezing all the time. I put you in that, but I think I would kill any, uh, <laughs> seriousness in whatever scene you're in. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw you could actually buy DLC costumes, too. Yay! We did it, guys! Yay! Oh, uh, that was... Damn! That was a really good case. I... Yeah, like, it was start off totally ridiculous, but goddamn it, did it fucking... Just... It just progressed so well. And the ending was... Oh, I don't know. something really satisfying about it. Mostly because you, you really did, I felt like, feel for Marlin. And the ending wasn't really... He wasn't necessarily a bad person. His intentions were good, you know? He was trying to protect Sasha. It was a misunderstanding. And even in the end, he didn't really kill the captain. He was trying to save him. So, oh man, it was just so good. I think it was nice just to see that, like, reform, you know? For a, a bad guy. A quote-unquote bad guy. Definitely the best case of this game so far. I'm hoping the we get some good ones, too, for the just the, the, the regular main game. That's not DLC. I feel like, goddamn, like, that one was so good. Did they really have to make it DLC? I guess at least you get your money's worth, I suppose. It's better than not having bad DLC. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, that was, that was fucking great. I, I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did, too. I think actually playing it now was, before finishing the game, was, I think, the best. It, I, as far as I could tell, nothing got, like, spoiled for anything later or mentioned about later. I think maybe just getting out of the way before the, the main story kind of got into full gear was probably the best idea, so... But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy as well. And if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a Peaky Penguin. Now, boy, the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Hey, we actually managed to squeeze this into a nice full episode. How about that? It ended up being 20 minutes long after all. Hot dog. Yeah, there, was a lot, there was a lot more uh, to reveal than I realized. In which case, I'm actually glad they ended up se separating about that uh, by a save point <laughs> and not uh, just going straight through gung-ho to the end. But uh, anyway, as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.